Jay, the creative play muse here at Cool to Craft, is digging into her great grandmother's buttons for a vintage inspired bracelet. Hi, and welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy vintage button bracelet using my great grandmother's buttons. I just love that I inherited my great grandmother's buttons. I love going through them and looking at all the really cool shapes and shells and bone buttons and glass ones even. These are the buttons that I've chosen for the bracelet project. These small ones will be spacers. And I've got some bead accents, a really good bead embroidery thread, a nice beading needle, and I have this stretchy brown ribbon that I'm going to sew them onto. Just like any button sewing project, I'll come up through the bottom of the material, through the bottom of the button, and because the button on top has holes, I'm going to pick up some accent beads as well, because I don't want the thread to show. And these look really cool. So then I'm going to put them here and go back down through. Make sure I'm in the same place, yes. And just like any other button sewing project, I'll want to go through several times, make several passes with the thread. You can even go back up through the beads again if you have a narrow enough needle. And then back down through. And I'm going to tie each one off individually so that the thread doesn't break when it's stretched. I'm just going to tie a knot. snip the thread and move on to the next one. When you go to sew the second button on, you want to place it where it looks like it's going to touch. So I've already come through with my thread and this will be one of the beads, one of the buttons that doesn't get a bead accent because it doesn't have the holes in the top but it's certainly the same method. Let's just go back down through the ribbon. See, they touch like that, but when you put them on, there's a space, and that's why you need the spacer beads. Now that I have three of the large buttons on, I've picked up one of the spacers. I picked up some beads there. And I love this button. It appears to be plastic. It's multicolored and it's faceted, which I just love. It's obviously well worn. And that's what the spacer beads buttons will look like. The bracelet is finished. I've sewn all the buttons and spacers on. And one of the things that I love about this bracelet is that it moves and it makes noise. That's one of my favorite buttons there. This is one that I've always loved but never thought I would find a use for and I had an extra space. So I was very pleased to sew it on. Now I know you or someone you know has a stash of buttons. Pull them out and have some fun. I enjoyed making this project today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you make one. And I hope I get to see it. Thanks.